Let's discuss India since it continues to categorically refute claims made by Canada that it participated in certain events. The killing of a Canadian Sikh in June, a Sikh from Canada, but Indian media currently. Outlets report that Delhi wants to apply fresh pressure to some Sikh activists from abroad. Among the 19 people whose Indian descent as properties are expected to be seized, comes when some British Sikhs are struggling. They worry about misrepresenting their community. Alan Mukul, our religion editor, is seen here. The time Justin Trudeau charged India with role in this person's murder he could have hoped for a Canadian Sikh. Absolute public support in Canada many of your allies have been your buddies. About this, I'm curious as to what your response is, and if you do, it is not even from the United Kingdom, resulting in Prime Minister Trudeau's isolation of those offended by a figure, and British Sikhs already believed they had good grounds to disregard the Jagda Singh Johar case from well-known advocate for Sikh rights, Dumbarton activist, and traveled to India in 2017 become wedded nevertheless. He was there thrown into a vehicle and has subsequently been incarcerated. He was tortured and is now regularly brought to court. He denies committing any extreme violations. Even if he hasn't yet been put on trial, demonstrations have been ongoing for six years. Publicly, the UN Working Committee requested Mr. Johal's quick release, but the British government has not yet completed the same claim to be impressed by Canada's position. The Prime Minister of Canada stood out. As a citizen, I learned, how did one of her people fare? As a consequence, he entered the opposition, was contacted by Parliament, and spoke like he did. I fail to see Rashid Sunak is not in. My view, taking action greetings, the Prime Minister stated. He wants the case of Jag to Johal to be settled as soon as possible. Nonetheless, the Narendra Modi administration urged Britain to take greater action to resurging the Sikh movement in the UK in favour of a breakaway country. They need to contact Khalistan. A former minister of the UK Faith Engagement Advisor concurs that it was a significant finding in previous research he released this season. The British government, in my opinion, has, for a very long time, been naive in not speaking to the pro chalistan Sikh extremists and other radicals, have been avoiding detection in the UK. British Sikh groupings during the spectrum were outraged by what they saw as activism as opposed to what was described as radicalism, implies the government is kowtowing in some way to Delhi, yet it is unquestionably a for the UK, it is a tightrope to tread. India is such a significant strategic partner, focusing in particular on trade and safety. If you love the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.